Then we'll go uh, with this one and then the smoke gray, the green strap. The the one in the picture. You want to get both? Yeah. Okay. Hey guys, what's up? This is Sean checking in here this morning at the office for the start of this week's video. Just want to touch base with you. We actually have a very eventful week with a lot of amazing customers coming in. Few amazing sales lined up and ready to show you guys. So thank you so much again for checking in and we'll touch base with you when something else interesting happens. However, there is one thing I just remembered. I don't know if you guys just saw on Instagram, but we'll pop up a picture on the screen. RM just dropped a new RM88. It has a little smiley face and a few little characters inside of the dial. What are your opinions on this watch? What do you think about it? Drop a comment down below and see you soon. Like, can you check here if we have the links in the card so I can put it back and stuff? Yeah. And just put it back in incoming shipments. Okay. Same thing for this Batman G other one. And you can sell them, like there's good profit. Yeah, just see that yeah. I'll take it now. Pretty man. What's up, TVT gang? Gianluca here. Today I want to talk to you about how to reach us if you want to buy or sell a watch. So definitely the best way is going to be Instagram. So if you want to buy a watch, give us a little story of what you're looking for. If you have a specific model, if you're looking for a specific brand, if you have a budget in mind. While if you want to sell a watch, give us as many details as on the, on the watch that you have uh, as you can. For example, what year is it, if it's brand new, if it's used, if it's worn or unworn, uh, if it has box and papers. Uh, if you don't like to text us too much, you can text us or DM us your phone number and we'll give you a call right back. If you're local to Miami and if you want to come in trying to sell or buy a piece, uh, again DM us, we'll give you the information on where we are located. We only do appointments. We look forward to seeing you and doing business with you. So again, just send us the DMs and uh, we'll see you shortly. All right, all right, sounds good, bro. Just send over the deposit, I just sent you the invoice. All right, thank you so much. Bye. Funny guy. He says it has to happen. Um, well, okay, so off to a good start this morning. Actually just sold a 7201 white ceramic to a very good customer of mine in California. So I'm excited for me to pick that up. Just finished up the phone call with him. It's one o'clock and I was about to shoot a clip about another watch here at the office and it just got even better. So 7201 white ceramic sold. We'll pop up a picture of that guy on the screen and we'll show you a little bit about it when it comes in. Really cool piece. Have not had that one in the office. We previously had the 7201 black ceramic in the office. I myself have not seen the white ceramic in person yet and I'm really excited to see it. Huge fan of the 7201s and excited to show that to you guys as well. But moving into, I guess, the main event now, um, I guess that was a, a little bit of a warm up. I actually wanna to talk to you about this watch. This is the RM5201 Skull Turbion from Richard Neal. That I actually had shown you guys previously and we sold about nine months ago-ish to a customer of ours who actually is local here in Florida. Um, now, this watch, like I said, sold nine months ago. We actually bought this watch back from our customer about two months ago, and we've had it here in the office. The typical time frame for a watch like this to sell is anywhere between one to, I would say, six months. We've had this guy for two months, and surprisingly enough, this morning it actually sold. So this watch is gonna be going out to a customer in the UK, really happy to get it to him. He's been looking for this piece for a while and happy to make it happen for him. Overall, one of my favorite RMs that I've ever had. I love the combination of this black with the gold skull inside and the tourbillon cage in the mouth of the skull. Absolutely stunning piece. One of my favorites from RM and really excited to get it over to that guy. So gonna finish up all of the logistics now and hopefully get this deal wrapped up by the end of the week. And it is now 104. $2 million worth of deals done already, and let's see what the rest of the day will bring. Thank you, guys. How does that fit? It fits good. It's good. like this. I can even go tire it, too. Do they make this in all green ceramic as well? This is blue ceramic. Gotcha. Does it come with any more straps? Uh, that, I would have to order a strap for you. Gotcha. But uh, that takes like two or three days. You need two of them. This is also 44 millimeter. This one is, we're asking 40,000 box and papers. It looks sick with the black strap. What about this one? That one is 41 millimeters. We're asking for that 55. 
So like these models have been discontinued from like 2016, 2017, whereas these ones are, this just got discontinued as of 2022. Should fit. So that's the same size as this. No. 42 yeah. millimeter. Yeah. Size-wise, though, would you would you like the bigger face, the smaller face? I like in, like both of them. Mm -hmm. In between. I'm, I'm so let's like, see. Yeah, the in between would be that 43. Yeah. The thing is, I don't have one here. It doesn't really matter if it's like in the 40s. I'm good with it. Mm -hmm. This watch is a pound of uh, gold. Yeah, heavy it is. Damn. It's called the brick. <laughs> That thing heavy as hell. I normally wear a full size band plus two, extra, two extra plus, yeah, two and a half. You got Rolexes now? I got two. Nice. Got them straight from the boutique? No, I didn't. I got one that was bust down. That was, that was my first one mm -hmm. and my last one. And then I got the uh, the Wimbledon. Nice. The rose is a two tone? The, uh, yep. Yes. Do we have the stainless one here? Yeah, on fire. On fire. You got any protect? Uh, we have a few here. Let me get them out. I think it's over each. 40. Yeah. Seek on the top. Yeah, so for these ones, they come, when they come brand new, they come with an uncut strap. So it's like very long and then basically you're able to cut it to your wrist. So uh, I would be able to get you a brand new strap if you were interested in any types. Like this guy has a tiny wrist to get a small strap. Show you some Richards, bro. When he got one the other day, I just had to get it from New York for him as well. One catches your eye the most. No, 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 no. En el lobby, the entrar y dejar el... So that's white gold, it's in the men's edition, uh, 30 in the world. And that one we're asking uh, 160. 160. This one is 430, 50 in the world, Asia exclusive. This, this one, this one's pretty similar. This is called a white ghost, 30 in the world. Uh, this one is 400 and this one is 430. But we have, uh, for Richard Mill, we have large straps. The one's probably a medium. Is that thin? That is ultra thin, yeah. So that was made for like different athletes. This one's actually for a skier, and then they did different colors. They do a red and black, that's for a tennis player. You can make them for a full player? Yeah, they, they need to. They do. I thought you were gonna make one for a deal. So this is uh, the one that you saw first. This one is a 6702. Uh, they just make it in carbon. This is a 6701, which uh, make it in titanium, white gold, and rose gold. Gotcha. So Ara makes a circle arm, right? And it's it's called a diver. It's used mainly for like water sports and stuff like that. Um, but just because you're a big guy, like that watch on you would look like really proper, be badass. Why don't you show them like the 28 or the or the St. Bart's edition 20, 28, oh, something like that. that. They're, they're beautiful. And the cool part is that the retail price from RM is like 150, but we sell them under retail price. So you're paying less than you'd pay buying it from the store, which is hard to find these days, especially for RM. You like that one? Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. It's crazy because when you're coming in the hallway, you wouldn't expect the answer to look like that. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. Yeah, it was a bank back in the day. So like downstairs is a huge vault and then all these buildings were like um, offices. So that's why it's like oh, set up. Okay. Yeah, so it's set up like really secure and then they do like venues downstairs, but it's different than any other jewelry building you'll see. Like it looks from the outside, you're like, ah, I don't know what's in there. And then you come inside and then Obviously we made ours look a little bit nicer, but 
it's cool because they let you customize anything. Like we put all this like stuff on the wall, all the artwork up, all the lighting. Josh, if you need that green titanium, there's uh, one available by the way. The smoke gray, soul box. Smoke gray, I think we have here in Miami, bro. Yeah, titanium has like a really nice lightweight feel to it for um, for AP. It's very easy to wear. Yeah, so that's a summer edition. There's 500 pieces in the world. Yeah, uh, you have that smoke gray with you? Yeah, you set up on one. Around 65. That's pretty dope. I think both are pretty dope. Yes, I heard that's a large strap on that watch. So basically we can get you that same strap for... For this one? Yeah. The same color strap too? Yeah. Which one did you get between these two? Sorry, we were $1,500. Not sure that's the way. Personally, I would go for the summer edition just because, um, you know, say that you want to trade it in later, whereas this one say that there's not much demand for it now just because it's a discontinued watch from a long time ago whereas this one it's more desirable it's a great you know also on a white strap it looks amazing yeah. you can wear it all year round especially during the winter put on the black during the summer put on the white uh, and you know that piece will always hold its value just because it's limited and there's not that many out there for sale or also the the 43 millimeter that you like the smoke tray that's uh, that peaked up around 62 63 we sold them for at the peak and markets down on them again it's told you what 48 on that i think so yeah this one right yeah go in there yeah <laughs> i'm gonna look in the mirror it's a big boy watch but like with the 43 mm model, I'll show you. Like the yeah. straps come out this easily. And then, uh, just uh, press both and, yeah, and, and just put them back on as well. Uh, Whereas these are the older ones; they don't have that mechanism. You, you have to do it with the screwdriver. Yeah. With uh, those, you can. Just with these ones, you okay, can. Well, like the 43 millimeter, the one I sent you a picture for, uh, for 48. Uh, we can do that. Like you can do that, and they come yeah. with another strap as well. Yeah. For these ones, you need tools to take the straps out. Yeah. You press at the bottom. You press these two buttons here. Same time? Same here. Oh, you can do one by one. Damn, it just clips back on. That easy. This is my good one, man. You prefer the gold over the... than the black too, right? I think just the colors. Mm -hmm. To me. I think I'm gonna go with, wow. this, with this one and then the smoke gray. The green strap. The... The one in the picture? You want to get both? Yeah. Okay. Large strap should be pretty easy to get, probably two, three days. Whereas an XL, we'll have to probably do a custom order. It could take a week to two weeks for that one. But um, if you want, I can also send you the watch. Do you have a watchmaker out there that can change the strap for you, or you prefer me to just do it all for you? Uh, you can just do it. Okay. Yeah. So in that way, when I get the strap, I'll put it on. I'll get the watch cleaned up in the meantime. I'll get the other offshore here, so that way I can send you that first while this is getting worked on. And sure. You can go from there. Which one did you pick out? The uh, smoke gray one and the one he just showed you. Do you have any other watches in your collection? Uh, I'm, ju I'm just starting. Just starting the collection out. Yeah. Well, you're starting. You're starting with two serious pieces, so that's going to well, be I really got, nice. Uh, I got the Rolex, the, uh, the Wimbledon Oyster. I got one bust down Rolex. That was my first watch ever. And then I got uh, two AP. I just, won, I just got one from Lyft, from AP. I got really? The 50th anniversary with the green dot. No way! Yeah, same yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, nice. 15, 5, 10. Yeah. The non chrono. Wow, I just got the same one. I'm, I'm very jealous. You already have it or you're getting it soon? I already have it. I'm gonna have that AP on Monday, so if we get the wire by Monday, I can ship it. Oh. For you to get by Tuesday. Perfect. Sounds good. Thank you. Nice to meet you again. Nice to meet you. Appreciate it. All right, guys. So another thing that I wanted to touch base on that I was speaking about in last week's video is actually price comparisons for specific brands, specific watches, why pricing is as it is. And I'm going to dive into that right now because we actually picked up a new watch this morning that I'm really excited to have in. This is going to be the new Rose Gold Oyster Flex Meteorite Dial Rolex that has come out this year and is in high demand and very popular within the Rolex community. Now, last week I was talking to you guys about this piece um, that we have in stock, which is going to be the solid white gold meteorite, which is a different variation. This is actually going to be the older variation of the meteorite. It is full white gold on a white gold bracelet with the full meteorite dial. 
Now, the new upgraded version, I would say upgraded from Rolex, is going to be this Oyster Flex version that has the black subdials, a little bit of a different meteorite. I would say it's a little bit more glossy and bright compared to the older meteorite. And you're gonna notice the difference in the hands where Rolex at the hands very similar to what they do with all of their new models now. Whereas the older meteorite, they're gonna be featuring the red hands. So last week I was talking to you guys about this watch and explaining how I think this watch is a great buy. It's a watch that I actually bought for myself. It's in my personal collection and something that I definitely will be holding on to for a long, long, long time. One of my favorites. Now to give you guys a price comparison between these two in real time, this is a watch that's trading right now in the very high 60s and all the way into the mid 70s, depending on price point. That's going to be the full white gold version. The Meteorite Oyster Flex version in rose gold that came out this year is gonna be trading $100,000 plus. We actually just took this guy in this morning. I bought this watch specifically to show you guys this example between the two pieces and explain to you price differences and how you can look at arbitrage in the market and make a decision on what type of watch you wanna buy. At the end of the day, the most important thing is that you like the watch that you're buying, but if you are someone that is going to be looking at, hey, you know, what is the best bang for my buck? What is the best option that there is for me? Hey, maybe, you know, I do really like the Rose Gold on Oyster Flex, but I'd rather spend a little bit less and get a piece that I think might do better long-term. This is a perfect example right here, something that we're happy to help you with and walk you through if you reach out to us. We definitely will give you all the options in the market. As mentioned, full white gold bracelet in the 70s, Oyster Flex strap with just the head over $100,000, more meteorite on the white gold version, less meteorite on the rose gold Oyster Flex version, as well as the yellow gold and white gold on Oyster Flex. Definitely something you guys should consider and look into whenever you're buying a watch. And thank you guys so much for understanding this. Let me know if you get my gist down in the comments below and let me know which one you'd pick up. The Oyster Flex for more or the solid white gold for less. Thank you guys. If you want to try something like this on, this is a little, it's going to be a little bit more thin than those. This is like a cool deal. Wow, this one is cute. Yeah, it's too like dainty though, like a small. No, it's Oh. It's a really good everyday. Yeah, for everyday. And that's a per it's perfect size. You don't even need to size it. And it doesn't look too flashy, what you don't like. This one's just sick. Yeah, that one is real. The paperclip this look is, is super up. hot right now. Going up. Super, super yeah, hot. I feel like I'll just wear it daily now. Yeah. You gotta rock that daily, of course. That's not, honestly, it's, it's, not, not, that crazy. it's, it's not, not too big of a look. So, our manufacturer is based over in Italy. Mm -hmm. And we manufacture all of our gold and all of our jewelry, our diamonds as well. So we can make anything from you. If you take a picture for me and give it to me, I can produce it for you in real life. Gotcha, I appreciate it. Of course. So I can give you whatever design I want, necklace, bracelet, Literally rings, whatever you want, yeah. And you can just make it? So we draw everything in a system called CAD. CAD is essentially like the um, tool that you would use to build the actual jewelry. So I would mm -hmm. draw it for you. Mm -hmm. In the CAD, so it's like a 3D rendering. Oh, I Exactly, see. so I can customize literally anything. If you see something online that you like or something in a jewelry yeah. store that you like, more, most of the time, a lot of jewelry, the way that it's sold, like either by like Graph or Tiffany, right? They charge most of their money on what you're paying for is their marketing costs. Okay. Yeah. So like 80% of what you're actually paying, let's say a, a ring costs $1,000, 80% of that is going just to their marketing costs. The actual true cost of the ring will probably be somewhere in two to $300 range. Yeah. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please, if you would not mind helping us out, drop a like, comment, follow, subscribe down below. Check out all of our social medias and don't be afraid to hit us up if you're looking for something. And if you have any recommendations for next week's video, please, we're always taking constructive criticism. Thank you again for watching, guys. See you next week.